QuadTech utilizes a proprietary lighting design. Um, over the years, we have developed this lighting design because we felt that in the marketplace, when we were developing the 100% system, the lighting solutions that were available off the shelf were not adequate. It has to be continuous, um, and it also has to be high intensity. The problem with a lot of the light sources that were on the marketplace is that they had a color temperature that was not matched to the response of the camera. So you could have um, a blue fluorescent tube design, or you could have a very red tungsten halogen design, which were skewed to one particular side or, or to one particular frequency in, in, in the spectrum. Uh, what we've done is we've sourced um, an LED that has a very, very uh, strong uh, frequency response throughout the visible spectrum and that it is also very closely color matched to the frequency response of the cameras that we use. The LEDs are adjustable so that you can um, add more light on darker substrates have less light on brighter materials. We also have a variety of lights that we can utilize. We've got top light, which is a very, very highly focused, narrow beam of light that the cameras look at. We've got a foil light, which is very, very similar electronically to the top light, but uses a series of diffused materials to create a cloudy day effect, which is used to illuminate um, the high, highly reflective substrates like uh, metallic foils or metallic films, uh, metallic inks, anything that has a shiny component that would appear dark under just top lighting. And then we've got a, a backlight solution which um, is positioned behind the substrate and it's used when substrates are either very, very thin, they may appear opaque, but again a lot of light from the top surface will transmit through and is lost. Uh, or if it's uh, on semi-transparent or even transparent films, for example, we need to create a background that allows us to pick up defects like black ink splashes on a clear material, which if we hadn't backlit, would just all appear black and you could have a continuous run of black defects to a clear area. They won't be apparent to the inspection system, but to be very apparent to your customer. Um, what I want to show here then on our drum as it's running, I want to show you what that beam of light looks like. From the user interface, I'm just going to bring up the top light so you can see what that looks like on the web. Okay, so what you're seeing here is a very narrow beam of light. It, it, it's approximately eight millimeters high or deep or in the web direction, but its highest intensity point is probably no more than two millimeters high. Uh, and in that area, um, the line scan camera is looking across the full width of the web. Um, the LED light is custom built depending on the application. So in this situation we can see that we've got a 300 millimeter wide web that's running here and we've got a 400 millimeter uh, wide light that will adequately illuminate the full field of view of the camera. Uh, our systems can go up to three meters wide so if you do have an application that's 2.8 meters, 2.9 meters wide, we can build a light that will adequately illuminate that full uh, web width as a single unit. And we can also add whatever number of cameras are required to reach the resolution that you need to be able to see the defects for whatever web width you wanna, you wanna reach. What I'm gonna do also here at this point is just show you what the foil lighting looks like. And to do that, I'm gonna just turn off the top light. Okay. And then I'm just through the user interface again, I'm going to just bring up the foil light. And what you see in this case is a, a subtle illumination, which doesn't appear to have any fixed target. But effectively, what we're seeing is a very, very wide beam of light, which has a much lower intensity, which is designed to reflect off the highly reflective surfaces and to reflect that light directly back to the camera. Another key advantage of our LED lighting system is longevity. Uh, the LEDs that we use in our lights are rated for 100,000 hours, which works out at a little bit over 11 years of continuous running, um, which means you effectively don't have to change the lights uh, over the lifetime of the, of the product. Um, one more advantage of our LED lights is that we have the flexibility to create lights using different frequency responses. So while our, our standard lighting solution is a, a white LED light, which is pretty closely matched to our camera frequency response, 
There are applications where you may have UV additives that require UV lighting to be able to pick those up to make sure they are present in the, pr in the product and are registered to the visible printed features. Um, we also have the ability to create different colored backgrounds. So if you have a substrate that is transparent, semi-transparent, but is predominantly of a certain color, it's possible to build an LED backlight that has a contrasting color, which again enhances the performance of the inspection system.